Hello. You might be able to see I'm wearing my dessert based shirt and that's for a special reason because in a moment I'm going to play you a video that was recorded at a sculpture park but it's no ordinary sculpture park. This is the Android Park at the Googleplex in Silicon Valley and I'm going to be asking you five questions and you can score up to 10 marks. It's a quiz. You'll need to observe and listen closely. I suggest you maybe take some notes in one form or other. Now the questions have a problem solving element. Some involve spotting missing objects. There's an odd one out question, a puzzle, and some debugging to do as well. Now I'll be playing the video twice. The first time as I ask the questions, and then the second time I play as I reveal the answers. So if you're not yet ready for the answers, you need to pause after the first tour. I will give you some prompts and clues to help you. Good luck. So I'm gonna give you a preview of the questions now. I'm gonna be asking you to name two missing androids. You'll see how that works in a moment. Question two, I'm going to talk about an imposter and I'll be asking you which is the imposter and why and Google shut this imposter down in 2020 and I'll be asking you why they did that. I'll also be asking you for question three, why Android 10 and 11 haven't followed the same naming tradition and then I'll be asking you to list four sculpture repairs. Again, I'll explain. And then I've listed all of the tasty treats, cupcake, donut, and so below. So now we are going to go on our first tour. So I'm just going to full screen and we can play. Now, Google acquired Android in 2005, the mobile operating system cost them $50 million. The first two releases of Android were codenamed after famous robots, Astro Boy and Bender. But a project manager at Google named Ryan Gigson, he decided to change the names based on tasty treats instead. And every release was then in alphabetical order. So we started with cupcake and then donut followed a year later. Every time a new version was released, there'd be a grand unveiling of a new Android statue on the lawn outside the Android offices. The statues chart a 15 year history of Android releases and they're mostly made from foam, as you can probably see here. Now we're looking at the honeycomb sculpture at the moment, and you'll see that some of them haven't survived too well. Well, it's obvious, I suppose, if you're going to spend your life outdoors, exposed to the high California temperatures and maybe some visitors coming along want to grab themselves a trophy or a souvenir or maybe vandalize the statues. Now, following the release of Android Pie in 2018, Google announced they were going to move away from tasty treat names to numbers instead. So after Pi, releases were named Android 10, Android 11, and so on. Now, over the 14 years, there's been 14 tasty treat named Android releases. And we're getting ready for question one now. So just before we do, I'm going to read them out in alphabetical order. We've had Cupcake Donut, Eclair Froyo, Gingerbread Honeycomb, Ice Cream Sandwich Jelly Bean, Kit Kat, a lollipop, marshmallow, nougat, nougat, <laughs> Oreo and pie. Now there are 14 sculptures in this park, but only 12 of them are treat based. It's actually two Android desserts missing from the park. So question one, I'm asking you to name which two. The clue is they're all tasty treats. They were named in alphabetical order. So which two letters or which two tasty treats are missing? That's question one. Question two, there's a statue in Android Park. You could describe it as an imposter because it doesn't really belong there. It doesn't have much in common with the others, which are all Android releases. So which is the imposter for question 2A? Why is it an imposter? That's 2B and 2C. 
why did Google shut this imposter down in 2020? What, what was the thinking or reasoning behind that? Question three, there's Cupcake. Oh, oh, I'm helping you a little bit with them. So Android releases have been named after tasty treats, but after Android 10, the naming system was dropped. So, we, so Android 10 and 11 haven't followed the same tradition. Why not? And question number four, as you've noticed in the video, some of the Androids don't look as good as they used to. They're showing signs of deterioration, wear and tear, trophy hunters and vandals. If you were asked to put the park or the sculptures back to their original condition, identify four things that you would need to do to put them back to their original glory. So anything that's missing, damaged, you could just list four things. That's question number four, list four items. And I'm going to pause the video now. So I'm just going to remind you what the questions were. So if I go back to this tab here, question number one, name the two missing androids from the sculptures. Okay, so you might, there's a list there at the bottom. So maybe there was one in the list that you didn't spot or identify. Of course, a lot there's a strong American theme to these. Question two has three parts. Which is the imposter? Which one doesn't really belong in the park? Although it is there. Why is it an imposter? So I'd say it didn't have things in common with the others. What do you think? Which one doesn't? Or say, why? Why is it an imposter? And part C of question two, Google have recently shut this imposter down. Why? What, what, what caused them to, to shut it down? What, what was their plan behind that? Question three. So after Pi, all Android releases now have been named after numbers 10 and 11 and there'll be 12 and 13 and so on. Why? Why have Google dropped the tasty treat code names for the Android operating systems? Question four, as we saw in the video, some of the sculptures, they don't look as tidy or as well presented as they were on their day of unveiling. So list four things. This is like debugging. If you were going to fix them, correct them, put them back to their original, what would you do? And there's more than four, but I'm just asking you to name four. So now I'm going to play the video again. So if you haven't yet answered them and you don't yet want to know the answers, you might want to just pause as I go back and play the video again from the beginning. And I'm now going to reveal the answers. So scoop back to the beginning as we approach. And I'll mention a few more things as well. So this is at the Google Plex. So if you're ever at Silicon Valley and you're there with a group of friends, you might want to come over and make a pilgrimage here. I can't promise it'll look exactly the same. The park has changed quite a lot over the years, 15 years or so. So this Google be uh, jelly bean. Um, uh, apparently, one day the temperature got so hot, the top popped off the Google jelly bean Android and somebody stole one of the the jelly beans and some of the jelly beans look a bit like they've been squashed or shrunk or something. We're looking at gingerbread. Um, I think gingerbread's meant to have a bite, but there's some parts of gingerbread that look like they've been vandalized. But apart from that, it's looking in reasonably good shape. I think of all of them, the one that's come out the worst is honeycomb. There used to be a bee on here. You can see where its legs were attached. And our poor little Honeycomb Android is missing one of his arms and both of his antennae. It looks like somebody's kicked one of his eyes or tried to remove one. Uh, this is Lollipop. Poor Lollipop has got lots of tape stuck to it. I think that's perhaps because one of Lollipop's hands, the one that's grabbing the stem or stick of the Lollipop, which itself is rusty, is now wrapped in tape. What else have we got? Now, Oreo is looking in very, very presentable condition. Now, if you work, if you think through the alphabet, Oreo begins with an L, so maybe that's because it's one of the more recent releases, so it's looking in fine fettle. <laughs> uh, we also have just off to the side, we have Eclair. That's one of the older ones. If you go back, think through the alphabet, begins with an E. 
That's actually looking in reasonably good shape, considering it's one of the older ones. It came after cupcake and donut. So there's not really much there that needs maybe a lick of paint or so. Uh, we can see Kit Kat also in very good condition. Now here is the icon for Google Play Music, which wasn't an Android operating system. It was their music streaming platform or music streaming service. There's Marshmallow looking very, very fine again. If you think about the lettering system, Marshmallow begins with an M. So that's fairly recent. Um, and here we have so some people are not quite clear what this is. This is Froyo. So it's a frozen yogurt dessert. So we've got the frozen yogurt with the fruit. If you look closely, you'll see some of the fruit is a little bit uh, damaged. The donut is missing some of the sprinkles. Some of the foam has been um, damaged, removed, it could be wear and tear. Let's look through the Froyo. We can see again Kit Kat, honeycomb, gingerbread. So if you haven't already figured out, um, I'm over to the side. What have we got over here? We've got cupcake. If you haven't really figured out the two missing ones, so the letter N for nougat, nougat or nugget, depending on where in the world you are and how you pronounce that word. The other one that we're missing, so this is here is ice cream sandwich. The other one that we're missing is pie. So it's the, the two desserts, treats that begin with the letter N for nugget and P for pie are missing. Do you remember question two? I asked you, which is the imposter? So the imposter would be the Google Play Music because it's not an Android operating system release. Why is it an imposter? Well, I've just explained it. It doesn't have much in common with the others. It was shut down in 2020 because they've moved all of their customers of their music streaming platform over to YouTube. I'll just pause that video there. Question number three. I asked, why have Android dropped the naming tradition of tasty treats? Well, there's a lot of speculation that it was because 10 would have been starting with a letter Q and there, there aren't a very large number of desserts that begin with the letter Q. You could have had a fruity quiche perhaps, um, but there was also the problems about how that might have been pronounced in other parts of the world. So. They may have also realized as you get towards the latter end of the alphabet, there is not very many desserts beginning with the letters Y, X and Z. So um, the final question, I asked you to list four repairs that you could make uh, or that you would want to. So you could probably list four just on the honeycomb one. So I'm going to reel off a list of them. So the jelly beans, you know, might have noticed they faded in color. There was You probably didn't know there was one missing until I told you. The gingerbread, there was a few little cracks in the paint and then there was, a, looked like somebody peeled or torn or tried to bite a section of gingerbread. It's not real gingerbread, it's just made of foam. We talked about the honeycomb missing, the Android missing an arm and both antennae and the bee is missing. Lollipop, you probably saw there was tape stuck to lollipop. The broken hand and the, the lollipop stick is rusting or corroded. Oreo and Kit Kat are probably the best condition for their age, although if you compare it to Eclair, Eclair is in pretty good nick. Headphones is in a pretty poor condition. I mean, that's, that's nearly 15 years old, the Google Play Music, and you can just see now in, in, in the video, there's some paper peeling off, the paint's faded quite a lot, water damage has got in there. Um, cupcake and donut were missing their sprinkles. Maybe somebody tried to remove them as souvenirs. The ice cream sandwich is missing one arm, which you can just about see in this image here. And then the actual, there's a large Android, which is not necessarily a tasty treat named dessert. So you could also say that was an imposter. It doesn't belong in the park necessarily, but it is an Android, but it's missing two arms. Now I can stop sharing the video. So there we are. I've asked you some questions. I've told you the answers and all of these are part of a mini expedition. In I'm, I've been working on a tour to Silicon Valley. If you want to know more about it, then you get in touch, but there are some more hidden features of Silicon Valley like this. So thank you. Thank you for coming along and uh, hope you did well.